You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have it. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. These people are like this because of Fink? Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. straight for the police station or see what's in that bar what do you think back it up scale thief it back ah! 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 keep your eyes peeled
deep underground well you see things from the bottom up and down at the bottom of the city i saw a fire burning a fire's got heat of plenty but it ain't got no mouth daisy now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in columbia Grab that lock. I'm 
well now. Over there. Impact. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. One spark, and we'll have a place we cannot control.
Warning. Let's kill that one. Take the ammo. That'll do. Great! Perfect timing.
Elizabeth? Sure thing. All done.
They argued something fierce at night, Lady Comstock and the Prophet. Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. Elizabeth. Let me have a look. There you go. Just what the doctor ordered. Argued something fierce at night, Lady Comstock and the Prophet. Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. There's the job, and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn Vox, and I take their money, but what's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard shift while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. <laughs> if Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay.
There they are, two of us. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Got a lock here. On it. Done. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. Want to hold on to this? We sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this tear, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? This Head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for long. Booker, if the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. I was thinking two things, but I only mean one of them.
Perfect timing. Gotcha, good morning.